Hey, everybody. Welcome to this edition of our Look for the Helper series, where we'll keep you informed and inspired while schools remain closed. My name is Steve Sofronis, Community Marketing Manager here at Elevation Education. And as always, if you'd like to share your story, you can go to bit.ly slash ELL helper. That link is in the top right hand corner. Today is Friday, March 27th. If days matter anymore, I suppose they matter to me. I'm watching kids, my kids playing outside uh, through the windows, which is a really nice sight. And today we're going to highlight our most recent podcast interview uh, with Katie Francis. Katie has been on the podcast before. We'll highlight that episode in just a second, but she is a certified EL teacher in Fayette County, Kentucky. She spent her first eight years as a mainstream classroom teacher working with diverse groups of students. And she currently teaches at Northern Elementary School, where she and her teammate, Jamie Combs, serve over 150 English language learners. You can connect with her on Twitter by clicking the link in the top right-hand corner of this video. And her Twitter feed is really cool right now because she's asking some uh, celebrities to do some really interesting things. I'll let you check that out and maybe uh, spread the word more on that later. During our 25-minute conversation, which you can find in the top right-hand corner on our Highest Aspirations podcast, we talk with Katie about how she and her colleagues at Fayette Schools in Kentucky are supporting families who may not have internet access or adequate devices at school. Um, We'll also share some of the tools and strategies her team is using uh, in this video in just about 15 to 20 seconds. You can access the full interview with her by clicking on the top right-hand corner. It's a great conversation. So I want to direct you over to the right-hand side of the screen here. We have some resources. First, this is our Look for the Helper series. Uh, You see this every time I do one of these, but I just wanted to point out that if you subscribe for updates, um, you will get an email anytime we release a new video, which is three to four times a week for as long as this whole thing goes on. Secondly, this is the podcast interview that we recorded uh, with Katie. Uh, That is up and ready to go, and I just shared the link. Also wanted to share the link of uh, to the other one that we did with her. This was, um, let's see, November 14th, 2018, so a while ago, but it's still highly relevant. It's about sharing cultural information with content teachers of ELs. Maybe really important right now, and they have some uh, excellent resources that they share in that, so you can check that out by clicking the link in the top right-hand corner. Katie also shared some really, really great resources. Uh, the first one is one that I had not heard of before. It's called Wonderopolis, and she explains it in the podcast. But basically, um, they have kind of a wonder of the day that students can, or really anybody, can look up, uh, and uh, and they can also search it here. Um, and what is great about it is that there are a variety of language supports in here, um, including uh, translations and uh the ability to be read to in different languages. So you can check that out in the top right-hand corner of that link. And what Katie does is she uses Flipgrid, which I know many of you all are uh, familiar with. This is my own personal uh, Flipgrid here up here um, to create videos or her students can create videos using what they learned in Wonderopolis. So Katie and her team provide students with sentence frames uh, and then they look at Wonderopolis, look something up, and then they create videos on Flipgrid that they can send to Katie using those supports. So they get to see each other's faces. Uh, they get to do some speaking, writing, reading, and listening, which is pretty awesome. The other thing I wanted to highlight was uh, their Facebook page. This is Northern Elementary. And they're doing something really unique here where they're having um, different teachers, and they really are hoping to get some celebrities and other folks um, to go ahead and read their stories uh, online so that students who are at home can listen to these stories. So I thought that was a really excellent idea and highly replicable. Before I let you go, I want to remind you that we also have our um, Elevation Distance Learning site up for free that is available for anyone. Um, you can find effective activities to help your English learners wherever they are. So I invite you to explore that site, take a look at it. All of our community uh, resources are there as well. So we're really hoping to provide support um, to students for free wherever they are for as long as this takes. Uh, You'll find that link in the top right hand corner. That's it for this edition of our Look for the Helpers series. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Please keep in touch, leave a comment below, Um, stay safe and take care of each other.